I have the co-pilot now mounted in the uh, Dart 250G uh, co-pilot sitting in there. I've got the GPS. I cut out a little bit of foam just so I can put the GPS in a bit easier rather than having to get underneath there. Uh, little receiver there. I changed the plug to an XT60 just so that I can have uh, more variety of batteries. I'm now using a 2S 1300. And the bigger prop. Got the VC400 mounted in here with its little cover. I've cut a little hole so that I can get access to the uh, power button there. I've, I've uh, set up my favourite band and channel so I'm going to leave that as it is because setting it up is reasonably fiddly. You have to work out the button pushes to change the band and the channel uh, and the power. You can bring up a ID name if you want to but I don't want that and with this setup we are still under 250 grams right on 249 but that still has the setup connector on there I'll leave that on for the moment uh, but I can remove that and uh, reduce it by a few more grams so it's definitely under 250 grams there's the image on the screen, you can see it's pretty good, it's 4-3 aspect ratio and you get the um, band and channel frequency there, power sitting there, that's on 25 milliwatts. You can do 200 and 400 milliwatts uh, but it gets quite hot when you do that so I think you'd want really good airflow and only have it uh, connected when you're about to fly. So I'll try it on 25 milliwatts to start off with, but I can still change the power if I want to. Voltage there and flight time there, so that's all really good. Before you get enough satellites acquired by the GPS, this will beep constantly when it's in uh, stabilised mode. And uh, even though I'm inside the shed, it actually has acquired the satellites now, so it's not beeping. Manual. Change to manual, still doesn't beep. Return, Return to home. Uh, so we are totally ready to fly now. Just thought I'd weigh it without the setup board connected. This is how I'll actually be flying. And we have about 243 grams, so that's well under the 250. Now I'm just going to make totally sure that the stabilisation is working in the correct direction. So if I lift this wing, that ailon should go up like it does and same here if I tilt up at the back like that the A line should go up to counteract the movement and finally right aileron right aileron goes up left aileron left aileron goes up elevator back both go up and both go down pushing forward so that all checks out ready to go I also have a 2S lithium iron pack, but that's going to tip it over the scales, unfortunately. That's 84 grams, whereas this battery is 75, so it's 9 grams here. It'll just tip it over the 250, but if you're not worried about the 250 gram limit, then you can use that one as well. Okay, time to try the Dart 250G with the co-pilot and VC400 video camera on it. Um, I'm just going to try line of sight first to see how the co-pilot's working. And the 2S and uh, the two-bladed prop. It's all working. I've got satellites, so time to go for a fly. Lots of wind around, unfortunately, so it's going to be a bit bumpier than usual. It's manual. CG may be a bit too far back. I think I'll bring it in and push that forward a little bit. It's a bit wiggly wiggly. It's a bit more stable. Stabilised mode is much more stable, that's good. 
You see it wiggling in the wind. <laughs> it's still a return to home. We'll fly it. Yeah, it is wiggling a bit actually. <laughs> Turn to launch, climbing, coming back to me. Back into manual mode now. How about stabilise mode just to keep it stable? So I'll do a uh, launch assist now. Might drop those. Uh, no, I can't. This is the launch assist where you put it into return to home. Return to launch. Increase the throttle, give it a throw, and it takes off and climbs. Isn't that cool? Manual. Back in manual mode, back in stabilized mode. All right, time for some FPV. Sweet. Bit of weird distortion. I have a linear antenna on there because I've got a little linear antenna on the uh, plane. Stabilise mode, let's fly. There we go. Orient myself. There we go, back there. So this is great, good view. Look at that, stabilised, beautiful. Not touching the sticks. Getting, but there is a fair bit of wind too. This is 25 milliwatts, and um, let's fly all the way down here. Great flying in stabilised mode. There we go. There's a bit less signal out that way, but I know I've got my return to home, so uh, I can just. Click the switch like that and it's going to come back to me. Here we go, coming back. This is so cool, all under 250 grams. This is, at, at the moment, it's at 240 grams. Oh, there's a bit of wind. And we've got my voltage down there. Hey, this is a good signal. Light of wind, I think I'll go back to stabilise mode and take control now. Downwind, gets wiggly. Coming back. Let the sticks go. And it wiggles its way back to me. I don't think I bought the uh, settings pad with me. I may have, I'll have a look. But there is a fair bit of wind. This is cool. Good reception. Even on 25 milliwatts. Flying feels like about half throttle at the moment. Let's speed it up a bit. Three quarters throttle. Smooths it out a bit. Don't want to lose it over in that swamp there. All right, I'll bring it in. See if I can uh, find the adjuster and adjust the adjust the gains. I do have them dialed back a little bit. It's just about hovering in the wind. <laughs> Here we go. Nice stuff. So I've uh, dialed the aileron and the elevator gains back a little bit just by. Uh, 
rotating, rotating those little pots. So let's see what the difference that makes. So that was the launch assist. Don't have to touch the sticks, just let it fly. Going around it and return to home. Stabilise mode. Still wiggly. That'll be the wind, but it's doing a good job. Let's try some manual. Manual mode. <laughs> we just really throwing it around. <laughs> Great fun. Right, back to stabilise mode. It's stabilising a bit off to one side. I need to re-level it, I think. So, maybe we should try the lithium-ion pack. Cool. Take three, we have the lithium ion pack in now. Don't know the capacity, but uh, we can watch the voltage and see how it goes. It's a bit nose heavier, a bit more nose heavy with this one. Got some rain coming too, unfortunately. But still going well. See some rain on the lens. Oh well, that might be the end of this little test. But uh, yeah, this is a fun little plane. Oh, not designed to fly in this wind, but it can. <laughs> oh, that's too much wind now. Wind and rain. All right, I'm being forced away. All right, that'll do me. Great fun. This works well. Love the little co-pilot, and at the moment. Well, no, it'll be about 260 grams with this pack, but 250 grams with the 2S1300. Great stuff. Mm -hmm.